breaking this down into the two components that move high yield, namely credit and interest rates. First, with respect to credit spreads, with the market having rallied significantly since last year's lows, credit spreads are now around 325 bips, which is inside of the long-term historical average of 550 bips. This rally, the sharpest on record, appears justified given the boost to the economy from the significant fiscal stimulus provided to the economy and the prompt Fed action. Indeed, the outlook for defaults in 2021 now appears more benign than was feared last year, with default rates expected in the low single digits this year, lower than the three to three and a half percent long-term average, and far below the mid to high single digit pandemic peak. While this fundamental picture for high yield is strong, valuations are also high. This doesn't leave a lot of room for further improvement, but we could still see modest tightening over the next one to two quarters, particularly in troubled sectors like leisure, transportation, and energy as the pandemic recovery continues to take hold. With respect now to interest rates, the three-year Treasury yield is now above 0.3%, still down over 100 bips from its pre-pandemic yield. The 10-year is at 1.5%, still down 40 bips from its 1.9% pre-pandemic yield, but having risen from the exceedingly low yield level of 0.5% it reached last summer. As the economic recovery continues, we do expect yields to rise somewhat, but likely in a controlled manner for two reasons. First, the Fed has telegraphed caution with respect to tapering back too soon, and second, we expect U.S. Treasuries to continue to be in high demand in the context of global fixed income. Should Treasury yields rise further, we expect investor demand to increase, in turn bringing those yields back down. Now, bringing this all together, we believe a reasonable base case would assume that the high yield market will return low to mid single digits in the next 12 months. This outlook assumes, of course, that the COVID vaccines continue to keep variants at bay and continue to ensure a return to normality in the coming quarters.